Chicago native, come from a big family, correct? Yeah, holidays are big times for us. Everyone brings a dish, yeah, uh -huh. and I'm the guy in our family that's in charge of the ice. That's, nice. that's how little they think yeah. of me. You bring caffeine-free RC to one Thanksgiving. <laughs> and they're like, you know what? You should probably just stop and grab a couple of bags of ice on your way. Uh, for myself and for my significant husband over there. Your significant husband, as opposed to the other one? I gotta ask myself questions, you know? <laughs> Do I wanna see this lady again or is it time to tell her about my baseball card collection? <laughs> there is a Chicago Cubs experience and booze package. I feel like a booze package is a necessary part of being a Cubs fan at this point in time. I'm losing my hair in the back of my head where everyone but me can see it. Uh... <laughs> I went to a new barber the other day, did this thing after he cut my hair where he brought out a second mirror and showed me the back of my head. It's like, why would you do that? We're having a good time, you know? <laughs> We're getting along great, I was gonna tip well, and now you're gonna remind me of the situation. <laughs> if I were a barber and I were cutting someone's hair and part of it were missing, <laughs> I would never show that to them after the haircut. I would show it to them before the haircut to remind them that this was a pre-existing condition. <laughs> you walked in with this damage. I'd have like a clipboard and paperwork, like they were renting a car, you know? I'd be like, all right, there's a little bit of damage on the sides, you know I gotta mark everything down. I don't know what happened back here, but I'm gonna have to call a manager before we go any further. <laughs> Some sort of accident. <laughs> Before we start talking about Bears quarterbacking, one more thing. Mm -hmm. you figured out what you're wearing on the special? So I'm going all black because it's very slimming, uh, which is something that <laughs> you learn very quickly when you start getting on television. How did you get into this? To stand up? Man, it, it, I just tried it. I just tried it once and I fell in love with it. It takes major league cojones yeah. to do that. By the time you get good, you realize how bad of an idea it is. I can't date a woman who has maxed out the font size on her phone. <laughs> You guys have been a lot of fun. I'm Jim. Thanks so much.